this new video by the content creator Noah Sampson has honestly been stressing me out over the past couple of days. Mainly because when I started watching it a few days ago, I wasn't expecting anything. I was expecting just to watch a full hour-long video talking about the Think Before You Sleep situation with Illimation and the fact that she made a video called Perks of Being the Fat Kid. I think Before You Sleep made a video responding to that and some of the top topic points that she mentioned within her video and how she's wrong in certain ways and this and that and yada yada. But instead, what I found was that it was mainly just a video trying to make Think, think Before You Sleep look as bad as possible and try to make it seem like that through his video he was trying to encourage people to not only harass her in her comments and any other social media that she has, but also try to insinuate that through his video he was trying to get her to get doxxed, which seems like a very outrageous claim, but that's not really what I want to talk about with this video. What I want to talk about in this video is the fact that he threw a lot of other content creators under the bus, including myself, because that's what surprised me the most was the fact that my own video was shown in context to spreading information that wasn't even a part of my own original video called Illimation's Making a Huge Mistake. So the three topic points that he brings up at the very beginning is that Illimation is woke, she's trying to deplatform, think before you sleep, and that she's promote, promoting obesity. Let's start off with the first one. I don't care that Illimation is woke. I don't care what opinions she has. I don't care if she's more left-leaning. I don't care if she's more right-leaning. I, I don't give a shit. I didn't even bring that up in my talking video at all. And the fact that he says that as one of the points that I mentioned within my video just felt so disingenuous because when I heard that and when I realized that I was featured within the video as being one of the creators who said that, I just had to question. Did, did he even watch my video? Because I didn't say that. I didn't bring that up at all. And I didn't even say that she was promoting obesity at all. And what I also said about the deplatforming thing, I didn't even think that she was trying to deplatform TVYS. I said, I hope that that wasn't what she was doing. I hope that wasn't what her intention was. I think it's still wrong if she flagged the video trying to get the video taken down because that's a cardinal sin for content creators to do. You don't flag someone else's content content because they say something that you didn't like hearing or you didn't like that they had said about you or etc etc you don't flag someone else's content that's just something that you don't do as a creator and you especially don't go on any of your social medias no matter how big and small of the followers that you have on that social media and try to get a large group of people to go and flag the video as well you just don't do that you don't do that as a content creator and that was my biggest talking point within the video that i made about a month ago at this point yeah a month ago at this point is that you don't do something like that later in the video he tries to say that tvys tried to edit his video in a particular way a carrot isn't an inherent good food while chocolate is an inherent bad food food is just food no matter how many calories carbs sugars you should feel free to eat whatever food you want to without beating yourself up about it one thing i noticed in sean's video is that there's a funny cut when he shows this clip right after the line no matter how many calories carbs and sugars Sugars, the video skips just a bit. The s'more changes hands, the boy's blood sugar monitor, that's what this is, it just sort of appears on the chair. There's a break in continuity. So immediately before she says that faded line, eat whatever you want, she added a caveat. She said, unless you have life-threatening allergies or dietary restrictions to follow. While this line is being delivered, you can also see on the screen that the boy who has diabetes is taking a reading of his blood sugar and then gets the green light. So he's good to go for having a s'more with his friends without throwing his blood sugar out of whack. This line, as well as the depiction on screen, is an acknowledgement that there are some exceptions to her statement, which would include, for example, a diabetic person's blood sugar imbalances, or most importantly for Sean's conclusion, the dietary restrictions recommended to morbidly obese people. He just cut that line right out. And this is important, right? Because this line directly refutes Sean's narrative that Illy is promoting obesity. I'm not gonna speak on TVYS's behalf, but the reason why I excluded that part from my video is because because that simply just wasn't what I was criticizing her for. The part of the video that I was criticizing her for was the idea that food is just food because that's simply just not the case. Foods can be healthy for you, some foods can be bad for you, but at the end of the day, eating something in moderation is the thing that you really need to be focusing on because if you go around eating whatever you want, 
without acknowledging the fact that if you're eating too much of something, it could significantly change the way that your body looks and feels because everybody's body reacts differently to different types of food. And you need to be more aware of that. You should be more cognizant of what it is that you're putting inside of your body because if you eat too much of something, it's going to negatively affect you in the future, especially if you eat too much of it, which is why I pointed out that her idea of saying food is just food was bad because that's just simply not how food works. And that was why I excluded the part about her whole dietary restrictions and diabetes point. That's why that wasn't included in my video was because I didn't even disagree with her right there. And to the people in my comments trying to say that she was trying to talk about the morality of eating different types of food, like eating carrots versus eating chocolate. Nowhere in Illumation's original video does she actually mention the morality of eating different types of food. The closest that she gets is the body neutrality point, but the most that you would be doing is giving her the benefit of the doubt which I'm kind of echoing a little bit from what Diesel Patch just said in, in his video, but I've been getting some comments recently talking about that, mainly from one particular person. That is a talking point that Illumination didn't really bring up in her video, so I don't really know why people are trying to say that she was trying to spread the, this morality thing when she didn't even bring that up. I think what he says here in his next clip is pretty interesting because he tries to say that a mass flagging report from someone that doesn't actually do anything. So one of the other claims being made to justify this deplatforming platforming accusation is that Illy asked Sean's channel to be mass flagged. She asked her millions of followers to report the video, and this is an especially serious threat to Sean's livelihood. But this too is false. In terms of YouTube's review process, mass flagging doesn't actually do anything. I think the point here is pretty obvious, and it's that Alyssa still had the intention of getting the video taken down. Illumations knew that if enough people reported a singular video, in this case, a video specifically made on her that she didn't like because of what someone else had said about the video because she didn't watch it for herself, she knew that it would get the attention of at least a manual human review to go and check out the video and see if they did go against the terms of service of cyberbullying. And it worked because the video ended up getting taken down and she got exactly what she wanted. So even if mass flagging doesn't actually work as you say it does, she still had the intent of what she wanted to happen, which was the takedown of TBYS's video. These next few points then say her reporting the video doesn't imply ill intent and that it's purely on a morality sense. There's nothing in the guidelines that says that you have to watch the video in order for you to flag it. John has nothing to worry about. The review will come up negative. If it doesn't, then he he can appeal and if he didn't break the rules then he'll win that appeal a review coming up negative doesn't prove ill intent if that were the case then every negative review ever made would be a false flag so now we're down to just the final argument which is that illy's report was false flagging because she didn't even watch the video before reporting it she went solely off of her friend's biased summary and that's a false flag because she didn't even know what he said this last argument is purely a moral one right because it has no grounds within the guidelines there's nothing in the rules that says you can't report a video based on a rundown from a trusted source. They don't make you plug in an eye tracker and play the full thing before you click flag. Objectively, I think that's just wrong. I think you should watch the video if you're going to flag something because she didn't watch it. You can't have an opinion on someone else's video if you've never even watched a, even a single second of the video. That would be like if you were watching a TV show or a movie, or if you were playing a video game or listening to a, a specific song. How can you have an opinion on any of that if you've never even seen or heard it or even played it? It's the same thing that applies to content creation. How can you report a video that you've never seen before? So I think objectively in this situation, I think it's really dumb that Alienation didn't even attempt to watch the video before she ended up flagging the video and then asked people on her Tumblr page to go and off also flag the video as well. The moral claim here is that you should hear out the criticism. It's the right thing to do. Until you do, you have no idea what he's saying, whether or not it's actually bullying, and who knows? Maybe he has a point. Maybe it's worth listening to. Since this is a strictly moral question, there's no real objective way to answer it, uh, so I'll just give my opinion. No. No. Illy didn't ask for this criticism. His video was totally unsolicited. That doesn't mean I think Sean shouldn't be allowed to make his video, but I also don't think that Illy should be expected to sit through it either. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. Not worth sitting through that, probably. That seems like a pretty normal thing to do. Uh, okay, so you just 
completely contradicted himself there. So Alyssa didn't ask for a response video. Okay, but she gave her opinion on a decisive topic. She gave her opinion on something. When you have an opinion on something, whether or not it be with your friends, when you're talking with them, or when you're talking to someone in a debate, or you're making an opinion in one of your videos. You're actively opening yourself to having people give their own opinions to your opinion. To have someone disagree with your opinions and explain why they disagree with you. You're openly giving yourself open to having a topic of discussion being made about the stuff that you said in the video. About whether or not it is correct or not. I don't understand why this topic point needs to be mentioned. It's not like one of her other videos where it's basically just her explaining a situation that happened to her in her real life. Because she is a storyteller time creator. She opened herself up to having a discussion being made about some of the stuff that she was saying, whether or not she intended for that to happen or not. I actually agree with the idea that Illumation or Alyssa didn't have to watch the video. I actually agree with that because if she didn't want to watch it, if she was told from someone else that TBYS said some things that she didn't like hearing, I think that's perfectly fine. The problem then lies that after she didn't watch the video, she ended up getting a bunch of people that try to report the video as well along with herself. That's why people were saying that she shouldn't have watched it, right? Or she should have should have watched it. Because if you're going to report it, you should watch it. If you're not going to watch it, then you shouldn't report it. Simple as that. That's why people were mad. That's why people were upset with her. Don't mistake my argument here as me saying people should just start flagging videos for no reason just because they don't like someone. That's not what I'm saying and that's not what Illy did. My point here is simply that the circumstances of this situation to me seem clearly within the bounds of a reasonable response. I think what he says here is very interesting. The fact that how she reacted here was a reasonable response. And I don't really understand because I think prior to her getting doxxed, the only thing that happened to her is that she got some more mean comments made about her. And I don't see how, how that's a unique situation specific only to her. Because when someone gets a negative video made about them, they get more negative comments. That's just something that ends up happening. Because whether or not you leave a disclaimer in your video saying not to harass the cr original creator or don't leave negative comments in your videos, some people are just straight up just not going to listen and they're not going to give a shit. They're going to go ahead and just do whatever it is that they want and they're going to go ahead and make negative comments regardless. Because that's just what people do. Some people are just negative assholes who just want to aggressively attack someone for no reason even though they're told not to some people just are just some people just decide to do the opposite of what they're told and say Alyssa did one of the two things that certain creators that noah showed up in, in this video and maybe that's not enough for you maybe you really do think that she should have watched it i have seen it suggested by some creators that in this situation in situations like these creators only have two options either a make a response video to the response video towards your original video or b ignore it and move on Obviously, with the power of hindsight, I can say confidently that she shouldn't have responded to this at all. But even before then, I still felt like that she shouldn't have responded to it anyways, because even if he didn't like what he said, there was no reason to really say anything about it at all. And I don't think she shouldn't have made a video. Some people were suggesting she probably should have made a video, but that would have really contrasted with the content that she normally makes. So I don't think her making a response really would have done anything. And if anything, all it would have done is just cause her audience to go and harass TBYS even more so it would have just continued the conflict even further and people would have been arguing and yelling at each other even more and I think that's the last thing that we really want to do in a situation is to cause more drama to happen. That's all I have to say about Noah's video. To be honest when this came out I didn't know what the video was going to be about but then when I saw my own thumbnail and title with a Noah's video it made me really stress the fuck out. Maybe it's a little bit of an exaggeration, maybe I shouldn't have gotten as stressed out as I did, but it did stress me out because he misrepresented what my video was actually about. He misrepresented my character and I took that as a very personal attack. I left a comment on his video. I've been leaving comments on a bunch of videos of others talking about the situation and I responded in a way that just made me feel angry. I felt really angry towards Noah for misrepresenting me and who I was and my thoughts about the whole situation and I just wasn't happy about it. And maybe I shouldn't have responded the way that I did, but that's how I felt at the time. And that's why I acted the way that I did, because I I just didn't know what was going to happen in the future. I didn't know how people were going to 
respond to my video if they were going to go out of the way and look for the content themselves. I didn't know how people were going to construe my own words and opinions from my very own video. I didn't know what was going to happen. So maybe I reacted in a way that wasn't the best, but that's how I felt at the time. I've since calmed down a lot and I now have this video out for people to know how I felt about Noah Sampson and what he had to say for certain points that correlate more so to my own video because I don't really have anything to say about TVYS and what he thinks about him and what he thinks about that entire situation and him specifically because that's what the video is about. It's not about me, it's not about any of the other creators, it's mainly specifically towards him and I'm going to allow Think Before You Sleep to make his own video talking about the situation if he so decides to end up making that video because so far he hasn't said anything about it. Actually, he did do a little bit of an interview with Tom, uh, Tom Dark, Turkey Tom, for in his live stream. So if you want to go check that out, go ahead and do so on Tom, the Tom Dark channel. But that's basically it for me. I don't really have much else to say about the whole situation. And unless something massive happens, like Alyssa ends up making a response in some, in some way, then maybe, maybe I'll make another video. But I really don't want to. I kind of just want to move on and do something else so that's pretty much it for me if you liked the video be sure to leave a like if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video i will see you guys in the next one i'm out peace